I'm going to try to explain a quick workflow for creating FPS arm animations in Blender and exporting them for use in Godot. Things you'll need. Blender, the Rigify add-on, the GLTF import-export add-on, an arm model, and a weapon model. First, let's go into Edit, Preferences, and into the Add-ons tab. Type in Rigify and click the checkbox to enable it. Also type in GLTF and click the checkbox for that if you don't have it already. Import your arm model. If you're using a Sinti model, they come in looking weird, so just click the armature, open it, and click Pose. Click the little green man icon and click the button on the top right that says Reset Position. We're going to need to replace the bones, so click the mesh, right click, and select Clear and Keep Transformation. Delete the old armature. Then we'll just center the mesh by clicking Object, Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. This will put the pivot point in the middle of the mesh. Now click N to bring up this sidebar and reset its location to 0, 0, 0. Shift A to open the Add menu and click Armature, Human, Meta Rig. Line up the arm bones to where the mesh is. We'll be removing all the unnecessary bones like the face, legs, and torso. However, keep the middle chest bone that connects the two arms. Now just line up the bones to the mesh as best as you can. You can click 1, 3, and 7 on the numpad to view forward, side, and top views respectively. Once you're done, select the armature in object mode and control A to apply all transforms. Do the same thing to the mesh. Then select the rig again, go to the little green man and scroll until you see generate rig. This will create the rigify rig. You can hide the old armature now by pressing H. Select the mesh, hold shift and select the rig. Control P to parent and select with automatic weights. The mesh is now parented to the rig. You can adjust this with weight painting on your own time. Now to create the animation. Add a camera. Add the weapon. Click the rig and control tab to go into pose mode. I recommend setting the mirror checkbox on the top right so you can move both arms at the same time. Also you can hide the rigify controls that you don't need so that it doesn't look all that cluttered. Pose the arms. Go into object mode and select the weapon. Hold shift and select the rig. Then control tab to go into pose mode. Select the control bone you want it to be parented to. Control P and click bone. The weapon is now parented to the hand bone. Go into the animation tab. On the left window you can press 0 to view from the camera's view. Change dope sheet into action editor. Then click new to start adding your animations. Rename your animation. Check the little shield icon. Make your first keyframe pose. Press A to select all visible bones and then control I to insert a new keyframe. Do that for the beginning and end of the animation and then do something wacky in the middle. To make another animation clip, select the two documents icon that says New Action. This makes a duplicate of the current action, but you can just edit from here. I'm making a walk cycle. Once your animations are done, go back into Layout View. Press A to select all, which at this point should only be the mesh and the rig. Go to File and then Export to GLTF. On the right tab under Skinning, make sure Export Deformation Bones Only is checked. Also include Should Be Limited to Only Selected Objects. Now go into Godot and drag your new file into your project. Double click it to preview. You should see your animations listed under Animation Player. In the Meshes tab, select each of your mesh and select Save to File. Also do the same for each animation clip under the Animation Player. Set Loop Mode to Linear and then click Reimport. You can drag the file into your scene and click the Film Slate icon. Click New Inherited. Now when you click the animation player, you should be able to see the animations. And that's pretty much it.